You know, there really is just nothing like watching something exciting on a lazy afternoon. Oh man, I mean, it was fantastic. The character development, the art style, the creative use of powers. We should have given Avatar a chance way sooner than now. Yeah, well, you know, better late than never. That game sucks. Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 129 of the regular season where the Astros lose 17 to 1 to the Bucks. <laughs> 17. Oh, uh, 17 to 1 to the Boston Red Sox and end up losing the final game of the series and splitting the four-game set against Boston in Minute Maid. This could be a one-minute video because there's so little to say about this game. There's so few positives that I could possibly scrape out of the bottom of the barrel. The Astros somehow had 10 hits in this game and scored one run. Like, that the offense was bad. It was bad with runners on. I would almost go as far as to say it was bad without runners on. The offense just sucked. I Bregman had multiple hits and so did Dubon. Good for the two of them. The Astros did so bad that they pulled Altuve and threw Dubon in to be the sacrifice to the blowout gods. That's how bad it got. Um... JP France was an unmitigated disaster, one of the worst pitching performances I've ever had to watch. And that's not even a shot at JP France. It he has been the most dependable starter for this team this season. I'm not going to throw stones at him because he blew up. It's a rookie. He is a rookie who was probably not supposed to pitch at this level anyway. The fact that he has been the most dependable starter is a miracle. I'm not about to get on his case for this game. Was he awful? Oh, God, yes. I, here's the thing. He could have went, he could have thrown a nine-inning shutout or nine-inning complete game with two runs and the Astros would have lost. I, yeah, he got shelled, but you know what? I, I so don't care. I will give Brandon Belak all the credit in the world. He would give up three runs in this game, but you know what? He gutted out five and a third innings so that the Astros could save what fraction of a bullpen they had left. Because they don't have an off day for a while. So that was all the respect in the world for Brandon Belak. Uh, Montero got an out and gave up a couple of hits. Did pick up a strikeout in that one third. Maldonado pitched the ninth and it was very funny. That was the main solace that we get for the game. And uh, I think that's it. I, I genuinely think that is all there is to say. There is not much to hang your hat on. I... And I hate being cynical, especially on what's going to be the last video for like a week, but I mean, what else you got? Like, even if you remove Maldonado getting shelled in the ninth inning for four more runs, 13 to 1 to close off a homestand and to finish a series is an embarrassing and defeating way to go out. The offense was awful. 1 for 12 with runners in scoring position, 10 men left on. 13 runs given up in 8 innings before you finally mercifully sent out a non-actual pitcher pitcher to pitch. And Brantley goes back down to AAA because the Astros just seemingly this season can't have multiple things go right at once because one step forward and a bunch of steps back. So now the Astros begin a road trip which will start with a three game set in Detroit against the Tigers where they will try to pick up the pieces from the final two games of this Boston series. First game is tomorrow night, 640 Eastern, 540 Central. The Astros are going to send Fran Valdez to the mound and the Tigers are going to send Matt Manning to the mound. I won't be here afterwards to talk about it. I fly out in the morning for about a week trip in Boston. I'll be returning the next Wednesday, so I might do one series recap for the Tiger Series Sunday night, maybe. I'm unsure. So, possibly, I'll see you guys next week on maybe Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to one of the games in Boston, in Fenway, to see the Astros, so... I'm hoping to get a bunch of pictures for it. Side note, one of my favorite passions outside of baseball is uh, photography. So I'm hoping that I can make maybe a little collage video for that. If I get enough good pictures, fingers crossed, I'm going to see how that goes. But possibly until next week. That is all I have to say for the video. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And until next time, go Stros.